What's up, y'all? Um, first of all, I want to thank the people that organized this. Um, and I want to thank all of y'all for coming. It's a great expression of solidarity for not only what's going on, but also Standing Rock and the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, I, too, like many of you, am a student of history. And I have noticed that this election year and the past couple years have actually paralleled different points in history in which fascism was a very real threat. And that scares me, it troubles me. Because as a student of history, you know that the only way to confront fascism is quite literally, quite literally through fighting. And that means getting out to the streets, organizing, mobilizing, resisting, um, building networks of self-defense and mutual aid in which People, people don't have to feel intimidated, in which the community knows everyone has each other's backs because we should not be walking around the street. People should not be walking from the library feeling scared. Um, and I just want to I just want to read a portion from Malcolm X's The Ballad of the Bullet Speech. Um, I'm going to slightly edit it. So, 2016 threatens to be the most explosive year that America has ever witnessed. Why? It's also a political year. It's the year when all the politicians who are back in the community jive with you and me for some votes. This year when all the political crooks will be right back in here in my community with their false promises, building up our hopes for a letdown, with their trickery and their treachery, with their false promises which they don't intend to keep. As they nurse these, these, these dissatisfactions, they're going to lead to one thing, an explosion. And I just want to say on that, that there are, it is very real that there are groups, there are fascist groups and white supremacist groups such as the Klan in this country that are very well organized and that pose a very real threat to the safety of many people in this country. So I'm glad to see this because it is a step towards that organization that we need in order to combat that type of violence, in order to combat that type of hate and racist violence. So, once again, I just, I would like to thank everyone for organizing this, and also at the same time, I really highly encourage everyone to find ways to, to get involved and educate yourself about past struggles, because this struggle, this resistance against racism, this resistance against um, class oppression and exploitation has been going on far longer than anyone can ever, you know what I mean, anyone could ever think, because this country was built on violence. This country was built on the rape of African of, of the African population of Native Americans. So we need to keep that in mind when we as you know going forward and, and know that just you know overnight racism didn't disappear because Donald Trump got elected, but that's been a very real threat to the majority of the world for a very long time. And that's that's all I have to say. Thank you.